Now at 7, a man is in serious condition tonight after he was mauled by a pack of dogs. The horrific attack was caught on surveillance camera. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Northwest Miami-Dade with more. Ty. Well, Rudabay and Elliot, I talked to the owner of the dogs as soon as he came home from work, and he told me he takes full responsibility for what happened, and he didn't know what actually happened until he talked to us. In the meantime, the victim's daughter told me her dad was simply walking home from work when he was attacked. <laughs> These dogs have been taken away by Miami-Dade Animal Services. <laughs> But they didn't go without trying to put up a fight. County workers were here since the dogs are accused of attacking a man. And that man's son didn't want his face shown, but he talked to us outside Ryder Trauma Center where his dad is recovering. I don't know how bad he's in right now because uh, they said uh, um, we can talk to him. And I'm trying to get some contact with the doctor. They said, no, we can talk to him right now. And that takedown was caught on camera at 1130 this morning along busy Northwest 103rd Street near 12th Avenue. He was walking home. The victim's daughter says her father just left work from his overnight shift when he was attacked this morning. Unfortunately, she says she saw this coming. It's not the first time. It's not the first time that those dogs attack. It's actually the second time. They, they um, those five dogs actually attacked five, um, two little kids before. Animal Services didn't say if it had a history with the dogs or the owner. <laughs> the owner, who doesn't speak English, didn't know what happened until we told him. He says he had his five American Bulldogs for about a year, and they've never been violent before. He was also unaware the gate was partially open. A good Samaritan who was at the nearby store says he tried to call the owner about the gate. He also used the wooden stick to try to scare the dogs away. Two of them, I hit them in the head, and they got them on the floor, and, and I'd be able to close the gate too. He wasn't the only one to try to help. Surveillance video shows drivers stopping on the side of the road and others tried to make noise to distract the dogs and call 911. And the man's daughter is grateful for those who did whatever they could to help. Thank you for everybody that just came and saved my dad because without them, my dad would have been dead right now. And within the last 15 minutes or so, I talked to the victim's son who told me his dad is in surgery and he has injuries on his right side, like under his arm, along with his leg is also injured. Now, in the meantime, I'm still waiting to hear back from Miami-Dade Animal Services to find out what's next. We are live in Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.